Honorable Michael Pompey, Secretary of State of the United States. Firstly, I wish to welcome you and your delegation to Sri Lanka in this warm and pleasant weather amidst your busy schedule. Tomorrow, the 29th of October, 2020, marks the significant milestone of the 72nd anniversary of the establishing of diplomatic relations between Sri Lanka, then Ceylon, and the United States of America. So indeed, it is a very important day and a visit Secretary of State that they have taken to be with us. As we go along, Secretary, today's discussions are a continuation of interactions of His Excellency President Gotabe Rajapaksa with key U.S. interlocutors, dialogue which took place virtually between myself and Secretary Pompeo a few months ago. It has been an opportunity for both sides to understand each other's priorities, share insights and consider steps to further elevating bilateral engagement on agreed areas of cooperation. In furtherance of making our bilateral engagements more robust, we have agreed to convene the next sessions of the U.S. Sri Lanka Partnership Dialogue 4 in early 2021, and also progress on several areas including economic, defense, and research through intensified coordination. Next sessions of the Joint Council of the Trade and Investment Framework Agreement will also be convened on the earliest possible time frame it was also considered opportune to broaden, broaden our bilateral engagement in areas such as ICT, cybersecurity, agriculture, science, technology, innovations, and trade and investment, business, and climate change. As a sovereign free independent nation, Sri Lanka's foreign policy will remain neutral, non-aligned, and friendly conscious of the opportunities and responsibilities that come with our strategic location, we see the importance of maintaining, maintaining the freedom of navigation in our seas and airspace, also protecting sea lines of communication and the undersea cables. We believe all countries should adhere to and respect international law, including the UN Convention on the Law of the Sea, we share views on the potential multifaceted maritime cooperation which Sri Lanka is keen to progress. Secretary Pompeo's visit and the discussions have further enhanced our warm and friendly relations. And once again, I extend my grateful thanks to you, Secretary Pompeo. It's wonderful to be in here, Colombo. It's, uh uh, it's most special because, indeed, as you, you said, we're one day short of 72 years of our uh, diplomatic relations between our two countries, a remarkable anniversary for uh, each of us. Uh, the foreign minister and I had a great conversation. I had a chance to congratulate him on his reappointment. Uh, well done. And had a, a very positive conversation with President Raja Paksa uh, a bit earlier this morning as well. My, my overall message in both engagements was very clear. The United States seeks to strengthen our partnership with democratic, peaceful, prosperous, and fully sovereign Sri Lanka. Our new embassy, for instance, is nearing completion. It's a sign of our commitment to the country and to the people of Sri Lanka. And we, of course, spent a good deal of time talking about our cooperation in defeating the pandemic that came from Wuhan, China. The United States has donated now just over $6 million in COVID assistance to Sri Lanka. And early in the pandemic, Sri Lankan factories and garment manufacturers quickly filled hundreds, hundreds of orders for high quality PPE. And we are grateful for this output, which saved American lives. Thank you so much. Uh, 
Finally, uh, this afternoon I'll travel. It's important for me to take a moment to go uh, and visit the Shrine of St. Anthony, one of the five sites that was attacked by ISIS in Easter Sunday of 2019. I'll shortly have the chance to pay my respects to the hundreds of victims of evil terrorists, including five Americans. I'm proud that the State Department has offered substantial counterterrorism assistance to help Sri Lankans bring killers of Americans and their own people to justice. These Easter Sunday attacks represent the kind of sectarianism that Sri Lankans are ready to leave behind forever. Sri Lankans of all backgrounds, Buddhists, Hindus, Christians, and Muslims alike, want a peaceful nation where their human rights are respected. In his victory speech last year, President Rajapaksa stated that he is the president of all citizens, not of only those who voted for him. And as our two nations move forward, the United States is counting on those words to hold true. We fully expect that Sri Lanka will fulfill its pledges to take meaningful, concrete steps to promote accountability, justice, and reconciliation. Let us all stand together, Mr. Minister, shoulder to shoulder. We've seen some of the good that we can achieve for our citizens when we do, and let's do even more together on the strength of our partnership marked by democratic values. Thank you, Mr. Minister, for hosting me here today. The question is to you, uh, Secretary of State, Mr. Pompeo. Uh, why have you chosen to visit Sri Lanka at a time when the U.S. is going in for elections? Is the purpose of your visit uh, to move uh, Sri Lanka towards an alliance against China? I mean, is U.S. attempting to offset uh, Beijing's influence by signing new agreements uh, like MCC, SOFA, uh, through the COD group in Sri Lanka? And also, you all have imposed uh, sanctions against our present army commander, uh, one of the war heroes in our country, uh, Lieutenant General Shavindra Silva, uh, from, entering, uh, United, uh, from entering United States of America, based on independently uh, unverified information. What is the uh, current status on that? And uh, did the government Great. of Sri Lanka request you to uh, reconsider uh, imposition of travel ban on Lieutenant General Shavindra Silva uh, in terms of the Geneva Resolution? Great. Thank you. Thank you. I think there were three questions there. The last one. I look, it's, 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 a, it's a legal process in the United States. We'll always continue to review it, and we want to make sure we get it both technically, factually, and legally right. We'll continue to do that. I think your first question was about timing. Uh, Foreign Minister reminded me I, I owed you. <laughs> uh, I was scheduled to come here previously, and uh, events around the world caused me not to be able to make that stop here. Uh, this was a time when um, I was able to make it. I'm thrilled to be here. It's a wonderful opportunity, and uh, on the eve of our 72nd, uh, anniversary of our relationship, uh, I think it was an important time for me to be here, and I'm, I'm glad that I was able to make it. Uh, your final question was about uh, what we're trying to accomplish here. Uh, we, we, we want the people of Sri Lanka to have sovereignty and independence. We want them to be successful. We want sustainable development for them. We think the United States as a friend and partner uh, offers just exactly that, and we want that. Uh, look, we, we have a shared vision. Democratic nations always do. So I'll travel to, I travel to India, I'm here, I'll be in the Maldives this afternoon, I'll head on to, to Indonesia. We know that these democracies have a shared vision for uh, free and open shipping lanes, the capacity to trade, for people to travel wherever they want to go. These are visions that the people of Sri Lanka share with the people of the United States. And so my visit today was to talk about those things, to figure out uh, good ways that we can continue to build and develop our relationships so that American private sector companies will see the opportunity that's here and come invest and train Sri Lankans and build up those communities too. These are the kind of things that America offers. There's a different vision. Uh, the Chinese have a very different vision. Uh, we want to make sure that the people of Sri Lanka have the capacity to execute, execute their sovereign rights, to remain independent, to have the freedom to hold elections just like the ones that you all have held. Uh, those are the things that democracies work on together. Those are the vision that we share. And that's why I was, I was excited to be able to make it here today. Thank you. Thanks for all those questions. If I may ask, this is the first time in many years a U.S. Secretary of State visits Sri Lanka. Do you welcome more U.S. presence in the region? Is advancing U.S.-Sri Lanka relationship an irritant to Sri Lanka's relationship with China? Thank you very much. Sri Lanka, U.S. relations, as I mentioned earlier, in the 72nd anniversary, very happy uh, that Secretary of State has 
affect the anniversary to be with us. It's a long years of cooperation that we have come forward. And we look forward to go to the future too. As uh, we have Secretary of State with us today, there will be many U.S. dignitaries, even in the future, visiting Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is a neutral, non-aligned country committed to peace, as I mentioned earlier. On that principles, we hope to continue with our relations with the United States and other countries. Don't I back?